Emily, thank you. If you find yourself in downtown Columbus any night this month, you will notice City Hall is brightly lit in rainbow colors. The switch was flipped last night to mark the beginning of Pride Month. Colleen Marshall was there. Colleen, you sat down with a decorated veteran who had the honor of turning on the lights. Yes, yeah, Stephen Snyder Hill, you might know him as one of the lead plaintiffs in the lawsuit against Ohio State University involving 20 years of sexual assault by former Dr. Richard Strauss, but long before that, he helped launch another kind of battle. Snyder Hill was fighting for justice and equality in the military. He served in the Army and the Army Reserves for 31 years, retiring as a major. In 1988, he served in the first Gulf War in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Kuwait, and he was also deployed in 2010 in Iraq for Operation New Dawn. He is a highly decorated veteran, but is best known for fighting the don't ask, don't tell policy for gay service members and for fighting against the Defense of Marriage Act. Last night, he received the city's Steve Schalleberger Illuminator Award given to remarkable leaders in the LGBTQ plus community. He tells me it's important for young gay people to learn to trust their voice and to be proud. I mean, I think as a child, we need heroes. We need people to look up to. And a lot of people don't understand. I've heard people say, well, what about straight pride? Why can't we do, you know, pride for straight people? And I, the answer is always, unless you've ever had to pick your kid off the back of a fence like Matthew Shepard's parents had to do, you don't understand why it's important to recognize a day that you're allowed to be who you are and you can be proud of who you are and you, you can do that. And that's what pride is. More from Major Snyder coming up later this evening, and you'll hear from him and his husband, Josh, in our Red, White, and Boom program, talking about being a gay military family. Jennifer. All right, Colleen, thank you. Well, today, a federal jury.